Hi, it's Julian Meller, Easy Swing Coach. Today's video is about variable practice. So I'm round one of the greens here at Ardencote Manor. And did any of you watch the Masters? Uh, incredible victory by Tiger Woods, we all know. But maybe a little bit of an unsung hero was Francesco Molinari. And I think at one point he, he got up and down 18 out of 18 times, which is just an incredible feat. Uh, especially around Augusta on the, the lies that they get around there and, and, the, and the greens, the speed of the greens. So is variable practice something that you ever do? Um, there's a lot of people that don't do it, but it has to be an important part of what we're doing. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go into some different areas around the green and we'll just see kind of what kind of action that we could, could be using. So I'm just going to chip this ball so perfect lie just on the fringe of this green the green's literally just in front of me here so I've got a perfect lie and we're going to chip this on so a pretty straightforward chip shot that with a little bit of practice you should become quite quite good at so um, nice upright setup I actually use my putting grip for this one use a putting stroke and we're just making a very smooth action, very relaxed when I'm setting up to the golf ball. So I'll just chip this one over this way. Nice and smooth. So that is an A time that's just lifting the ball onto the green and letting it run up to the target. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to some different areas on the green. So I've now just found myself, I've, I'm a few yards off the green, um, slight uphill lie. I'm just going to bury this ball a little bit. Let's get it sat right down in the grass in there. So now I've chosen a lob wedge. I've got about 10 paces to go, so not too far. From here now, because I need to get underneath the golf ball, I'm going to have a slightly steeper backswing. I've got loads of loft on my golf club. So if you, if you remember the, um, some of the bunker shots that I was showing you, what goes up must come down. So if we can make the backswing steeper, it's easier to hit underneath the golf ball. I've chosen here to use my butterfly grip. So I've got strong left hand, weak right hand. And now I'm just going to pop the club up and down. That one's come out sweet as a nut, probably about three feet away from the hole. But I'm just using the steepness of my backswing and dropping that under. So that was, that was sat down quite... It wasn't horrendous, but it was sat down quite a lot. Um, but using that technique, it got it popped it up really easy. Now I'm, just, I'm now in this bare lie. You can see how there's um, it's quite a dip in here. I'm not sure if it's a tire rut or something like that. But the ground is really hard, hard baked. I've got an uphill lie that um, sorry, yeah, an uphill shot. Greens again. Uh, the flag is not too far on the green. Now, what I don't want to do now is use a club that's got too much bounce on it that's going to make me thin the golf ball. So what I've got here, I've still got a lob wedge, but what I'm going to do different at setup is I'm going to angle the shaft slightly forward. Now, when we do that, when we angle the shaft slightly forward, it takes some of the bounce off the golf club. So this is going to make it a bit of a sharper edge. I've still got quite a lot of loft on the golf club, a sharper edge just to make it easier to hit kind of into the ground. So it's a bit more like a knife going through butter. So if I use my lob wedge normally, I've got probably a little bit too much bounce. The club will hit the ground and top the shot. So I'm just angling the shaft forward a little bit. Still a steepish backswing. So I'm not going to go round from here. Definitely want the club to work upwards. Right, shafts angle forwards, up and down. And that's gone out, that's rolled out to about three feet as well. So quite a nice sharp strike as I did that, but I held my hands forward, just kept them forward as I was striking the ball, still in a relaxed way, but that then the loft of the club just popped it up in the air off this hard pan lie, which is not much fun. So this is our nippy shot. Uh, I've got two golf balls here. I've put one in the, in the semi-rough. It's quite thick and I've put one in a perfect lie 
just on the fringe. Um, the first one's a little bit more difficult than the second one, but we've still got to get that ball to go over the bunker first time. So this is where the nerves can kick in. Let's keep that body nice and relaxed. I'm going to choose on this first one, I'm going to choose my butterfly grip again, which is my strong left, weak right. Uh, still keeping my arms nice and relaxed, but that's just going to help work the club underneath the golf ball. I'm still using, I've got about probably 10 to 15 strides to the flag, um, not a lot of green to work with, so I'm going to go for elevation. So I've got my 60 degree wedge again here. Strong right, strong left, weak right. I'm just going to, again, using gravity, what goes up must come down. Let's pop that underneath. And that came out sweet as a nut. Probably rolled out maybe to about eight feet, that one, because uh, it is a little bit downhill, but it went over the bunker really easy. Got some nice elevation on it. So this shot, a little bit easier. Um, we're just going over the bunker. It's in a perfect lie. It's just on, it's almost on fairway, really. Um, but I still need the ball to go up in the air. I need it to stop quickly. So again, I'm using my 60 degree wedge from here. Nice and relaxed. I don't really feel I need to get too much length in the backswing for this one because I've not got very far to go. Uh, so I can be a little bit shorter with my backswing. Just pop that one over really easy. So um, again, what's absolutely vital with all these shots, just make sure that you're turning and weight shifting through impact. Whatever you do, don't lean back, nightmare. So if you lean back, you'll either hit the ground before the ball, you'll top the ball, you could shank the ball, hook it a little bit if you whip the hands in. So on all of these little shots, there's still a gentle weight transfer. So now I've found myself in the bunker and I've chosen to put it on quite an uphill lie here. Um, so it's quite a steep bunker, this one. And what most people do in the bunkers is they, the first thing they do is tilt their body on the same angle as the slope. But actually, at Easy Swing, we prefer you not to do that and to actually try and keep your back nice and level. So that my golf club now, it's actually sit, my, the shaft of my club now is sitting very straight, so I'm not getting too much angle on here. Um, again, I've got a, a similar type of shot, eight to 10 yards, um, very uphill got my lob wedge because I don't want the golf ball to go very far and then again we're using gravity here let's get that wrists working nice and high up and down and through run out oh nearly so that's come out to uh, to just a couple of feet there so uh, quite happy with that shot so again I'm varying my practice now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to the back of the green, just play a little shot down the hill. So now I've just come to the back of the green. It's, you can imagine the ball's just rolled over the back. A um, little bit of an upslope to start off with, and then it runs downhill towards the flag. So I'm just going to go back to my, I've got a pitching wedge here, because I want it to just loft over onto the fringe of the green and roll down towards the flag. So I'm going to go back to my putting grip again here, my reverse overlap. I've got my pitching wedge, slightly uneven lie, a little bit of a slope, so I'm going to make sure that I'm nice and level. I'm trying to keep my body level. I don't want to feel like I'm angling my body backwards, just keep it nice and level. And you'll probably see here that my knees are naturally adjusting, my left knees come out, my right leg straightened, just so that my spine can be nice and straight from here. Taking my putting grip, and I'm almost just going to do a, a short putting action that's going to roll the ball out to the flag. So I'm going to use the loft of the club to lift it over the slope. I'm not going to try and lift it using my body or my hands. I've just let, let's use the design of the club properly. So nice and relaxed. Hit that one a little bit hard, actually. But let me have a, I'm just going to have another go from that one. OK, so nice and relaxed. The ball's just rolled down there to 
two or three feet. So um, that's a nice one. The last one I'm going to play now. I'm just going to do it where the ball is above my feet on that funny angle that we, we don't particularly like. So when was the last time you went out, out and actually practiced this, what, this shot? So I've put the ball right on the edge of the bunker. I'm going to have to stand in the bunker. I'm going in that direction now. Uh, but again, we end up in these scenarios and it's a shot that we need to practice. So let's get in the bunker. So the ball's probably not quite at knee height, but it's, it's a considerable height above my body. Um, I'm going to have to dig my feet in to make sure I've got the stability from here. In fact, let me just do that from here. It's the same shot, just keep it in the middle of the camera. So keep it in there. Naturally, because the ball it feels a little bit closer to me, I've gone down the grip a little bit, just so that that counteracts that bit of distance. Um, I'm choosing a pitching wedge here with my normal golf grip. Uh, again, it's very, very easy to get tense on this shot, but let's keep the body relaxed. Um, it's not too far. I've probably got about 25 feet to go, something like that. So I don't need to hit this hard. Just a little pitching wedge, just back and through. And that's just rolled onto the green and that's running out to, to just a few feet. So I'm not trying to do anything fancy with this shot. I think a lot of us out there do try and play that miracle shot, maybe even try a lob shot from here, but just no, no need really. Get it on the green, ball's way above my feet, nice and smooth, and just let it roll out. Oof, nearly went in that one. Um, so variable practice is absolutely key to, to improving your score. And make it fun, you know, go under trees or, you know, you know, I don't know if any of you saw that Tiger Woods shot where he was actually underneath the tree and he just played it out left-handed. I mean, that's a shot I doubt very much that he's attempted that shot if he's never tried it before. And there's a lovely quote from Ben Hogan. He once said, never play a shot that you haven't practiced a thousand times. And variable practice is inevitably what you need to be doing rather than we get a bucket of balls, we put it in the same place, a perfect lie, and we try and hit these shots, yeah, I'm getting better at chipping, but actually, you need to stick yourself in some awkward lies, some, some bare lies, fluffy lies, rough, all those type of things, and it will massively help improve your golf game. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.